Welcome to Art with Arrow, episode 19. This week, we're drawing Apollo Creed. Let's get to it. All right, so I kicked this off with a uh, grid drawing. I uh, drew some grid lines on the uh, picture itself, and then I drew some grid lines on my canvas. This canvas here, uh, I'm reusing. Uh, it was a drawing I actually tried to do before and I uh, didn't like the way it was coming out so uh, I decided to uh, still use the board uh, for this drawing. So after I uh, sketched him in, uh, I erased the grid lines and then um, I just started uh, with my Copic markers. So I laid in some, uh, some flat colors. Uh, some red. Uh, I think I go with uh, some of the blue uh, to get started with the copy markers. This was a really fun drawing because uh, it uses a lot of color. So, um, and uh, you can see I'm uh, putting in some flesh tones there with the uh, darker tones and I'm still trying to get that uh, light effect on his arm so I left a little white and uh, just built up around it And you see I'm uh, just uh, building up with the flesh tones, just using different uh, browns and uh, light browns and uh, some copper tones to, uh, to get his skin tone. And anywhere that there's just a, uh, a little light reflection, I try to leave the, a little bit of the white in. Um, I also used a little bit of HL white and some sand white uh, to uh, to not have it like completely uh, just white. Just have like a like it looks a little more like a reflection off the skin. And you see, I just uh, build it up. I just uh, keep uh, keep working each little area. I get the effects that I'm uh, looking for. Now, I mostly use the uh, Copic markers on this one. Uh, before I switch to paint, uh, I will switch to paint here shortly. You'll uh, you'll see uh, what I like to do. Uh, well, you can just keep building up with the Copic markers and uh, get really good flesh tones. This movies are classic, you know, Rocky. So uh, I decided to do this one. I was going to do it for the fourth, but uh, other stuff was going on. So and you see, I'm adding in the stars here. I uh, kind of outlined them in a the light blue. And then I go around them with the uh, the uh, bl regular blue. It's like a flat blue. And for the hat, I put in a little bit of purple. Uh, and for the glove, you can see I'm uh, using a little bit of gray put some of those little wrinkles in uh, the glove uh, going back with different reds some dark red uh, just a regular red and uh, I use some uh, some pinks as well some flamingo pink uh, 
rose red as well. You see I'm uh, bouncing back and forth between uh, paint and Copic markers. Uh, for the stars, I went ahead and used some metallic paint. I like uh, using acrylic metallic paint. It uh, gives it like a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a shine. Uh, and those stars are like supposed to be like really shiny. Uh, Yeah, so for the, uh, the head, I just give it depth. Uh, I start dotting in some uh, dark blue, um, a little bit of purple as well. I think I put in there. And for the paint, you know, I just was uh, just mixing the colors as I went. Uh, some darker reds. Uh, darker and lighter reds and I actually mix some uh, some darker flesh tones as well And the picture he has a lot of reflection so I uh, mixed uh, some uh, flesh tones and I uh, uh, used a little titanium white and some mixing white uh, to uh, do those reflections you can see I uh, put a little bit of uh, titanium white where it was like the uh, shiniest off the skin And I just kind of bounce back and forth, building this up uh, till I get the uh, uh, as close to the picture as I, uh, as I as I could with my paints. And I started off with the background. Uh, it's like some giant feathers. Uh, I believe in this scene uh, there was these uh, women holding the signs, the numbers or whatever. They were like in the background or whatever. Uh, with these giant feathers or whatever. And I didn't try to do the whole background. I just uh, was putting like some blurs out there. Um, and I just put some different colors in there just to kind of simulate the background. I didn't really want to go into like a whole lot of detail in the background. Obviously, if you want to, you can. If you're, uh, if you're also following along and you're doing this drawing and you want to uh, do the complete background, you can. Uh, I just went with a more painterly style. Um, wasn't trying to be uh, like a uh, hyper realism or nothing like that like And you can see I just keep bouncing back and forth um, using different whites, darker colors where I see I, I need it. This concludes our drawing of Apollo Creed. I hope you've enjoyed this drawing as much as I did. Please post your drawings on Art with Arrow's Facebook page. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week with another drawing.